That's a big piece of wood yeah. and a little saw. With a blunt handsaw. Oh dear. Got to start somewhere, right? You do. Well, at least you got a beautiful place to work. Yeah. Yeah, you got these guys that go to the gym and pump high in. Come here, sort of bit of wood. <laughs> Just about finished all the cuts. I've finished the saw. Have a look. So that's what I've been uh, making. Pretty good, eh? And she cuts like an absolute dream. So I'm going to be putting uh, melamine top on here. So we've got a mill and a half lip there. Trim this edge. I'm probably going to put some supports along there and possibly some drawers in there or drawers that end stores that end here you go let me know what you think look at this chick making itself at home here we've become surrogate parents to this chick after mother hen left her two chicks at the house and didn't come back to collect them so they've ended up in a box inside our house until they're old enough to join the rest of the flock of our egg laying chooks. They're enjoying some sprouted sorghum, which is a great superfood for chicks. And they've soon made themselves at home. These scenarios make farming more difficult for us because it's very easy to become attached to our animals as we care for them day to day, especially when they're so young and cute and require such special attention. Every time we dispatch a beast or a bird, we feel a sense of loss. However, we'll rather give an animal an amazing life than purchase our own meat from the store, not knowing the kind of life they may have struggled through. And we are daily meat eaters. This here is some cured pork, which I simply covered in salt in the fridge for several days, turning it daily, then washed off the salt and covered it in our favourite spices and hung it in the open air to dry for several days. It was an absolutely delicious treat to enjoy with biscuits and cheese, and a very fitting outcome for such an amazing pig. So we respect our meat and enjoy it to the fullest, even when it comes in unexpected ways, like this chicken. She was brought to her death by a fox. The fox grabbed the meat bird by the neck through the cage, but couldn't get it out. So it was a quick pluck and a roast for a delicious dinner that night. Nothing like prepping a bird in your jammies. Neither of us had processed a chicken for some time, so it was off to YouTube to refresh, and I have to say, we made a bit of a mess of it, but it tasted great regardless. Our meat birds are growing fast. Although this one was early, it wasn't quite ready, it was still a great feed. Then we set to work to fortify the chicken tractor to ensure we didn't have any more casualties. And we added side panels to the keep cage as well, just to be on the safe side. I don't think any fox is getting in there. It's gonna make a lot of racket before it coaxes them into that one tiny little corner.
now that the animals are safe and sound, down, Betty. let's go and enjoy them. Shun Betty. Hello. You won't like wine. Hey, just be careful what you're doing with those horns. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm like a scratching post. Oh my goodness. Okay, she's yeah, she's gonna get caught up in my chair and then drag it across the paddock. Right. <laughs> With you in it. That's what I mean. Don't do it. Yeah, let me scratch you. You're just like a dog. Betty doll. She could pass as Tilly and Sadie's sibling, couldn't she? Mm. Hello, Rocco. <laughs> Look at that beautiful blue sky. Insane, isn't it? Isn't it both? Get a bit of a little one, 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 Brumbies are scared. Maggie, do you want to get in? Oh, Jersey's already in. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, you're out now. What are you up to? Why are you in the car? Big bump? We need to close the doors, don't we? Hop out. Hop out, Jazzy. Hop out. to be pretty cunning to get in there. Hello. Hello. What are you doing? Hey Maggie, does it pass the test? Do you think the foxes will get in? What do you reckon? Happy campers all round. Have you finished your dinner? Did you already eat your dinner? Everyone's locked up away from the wild dogs. We had a fox attack the chickens last night. Nice to know everyone's locked up safe and sound. If you haven't heard already, we're getting married and we would love to have you with us. So tune in to our live stream page on our channel and join us on the 20th of April for our marriage ceremony. We'd love to see you there. Let's go check on Eve and her new little piglets and check and make sure that pesky Adam Pig is still inside his beautiful new home.
Hey, Navy. <laughs> Look at him. There you go, little one. In they go. Nope, he's out and the chase is on. Green chili. Green men. Chili, get him. Chili, get him. Go, Kevin. Yeah, I should build a house right here. <laughs> mm. I mean, it is a beautiful spot, isn't it, right here? It's the best. Alright, I've got to find these nags. That's a lot of iron bark, Cade. It's a lot of iron bark, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. That's a nice big thick not heartwood. Mm. <laughs> That's a lot of iron bark. Yeah. It's the size of that tree. Still. Can you just huge. imagine how big that iron bark was? Yeah. Like, I don't think you can actually see. <laughs> That's iron There's bark. a lot of chopping boards in here, love. Look at them. Because you've got heart there and heart there. So the screen, you've got cracking coming out. So you've only got this part. Yeah. Not much at all. And that there's sapwood. Mm. So at least one or two or three beautiful live edge yeah, pieces Yeah, definitely. There. If you can cut through here on to angle, you're going to get at least, and you've got a fair decent chunk of wood here. Yeah. And there. It's beautiful. Nice. Make a really nice post actually, wouldn't it? Hello. Beautiful. Here they come. Come on, you lot. Come on. Come on. Sky. Come on. Come on. There's Rocco. The sheep are bleating because they didn't get to come. Come on. Come Is on. Bleating or dying? <laughs> We didn't get to go with you. Look at the sky. Oh, no. 
beautiful. Come on, here they come. Come on. Oh, now I'm facing the wrong way. Here comes Karango. Come on, Karango. Let's go. Ah! Alright, let's get him in and fed. Here we go! Guinea fowl are ready for bed. Sheep are in bed. You've had your dinner, haven't you? Hey? Chicken food. Chicken food, protein. Sorghum, sweet potato. In they go. Nice. Yeah, nice. Home to out. bed. You want chicken chips? Hungry. Hello. Hello, man. Mm. So calm, aren't they? Yeah.